Something I want to talk to you about with the, with the missile bait D-bombs is the size of them and how I apply them. As you can see in my hand, I have a full-size D-bomb and I have a baby D-bomb. At this time of the year, we have fish moving up on this particular lake, getting ready to bed. And one of the first things they'll do is they'll stop on those outside bushes. And those bushes are in shallow water. Um, if, I, if I use the approach of I'm going to put a big bait in there, quite often it's noisy. It's, it creates a lot of disturbance and you're hitting the bush with it and it spooks the fish. I like to use, and I've, I've truly fallen in love with the baby D-bomb in so many different applications, but in that particular one, to be able to slide a small profile, almost finesse bait into that bush very quietly gets me so many more bites than if I were to use a large bait. Uh, I can weight it however I have to weight it to get it through the cover. I can, uh, obviously it's big enough for me to put a four-aught hook in it so that I don't have to worry about uh, the hook bending and pulling fish out of the, out of the cover. But it, it truly is a very silent, almost, um, you know, completely silent a way to do, to, uh, to uh, apply this bait and put the bait in front of fish where you're literally surprising them. And we know what it means to surprise a fish. You get that reaction bite to it. And so many times you slip that bait into a bush and suddenly, you know, he just wants to jerk the rod out of your hand. And that's because he's reacting to that bait just softly falling down in front of his face. He didn't hear it. It didn't disturb the brush. He never knew it was there until it was right in front of him. And that's really the, the way I want to um, um, uh, present this bait. Uh, something else that I do with it, uh, particularly in the summertime and in the fall, is when the fish get into the grass real heavy, they'll get into you know, that grass that's in 13 to 20 feet of water, and I'm looking for a punch bait. This particular bait, it really has, as you can see, it has no side appendages, and everything is in line so that it'll go through whatever cover, nothing, there's nothing to hang up on it. So many times you'll get um, a bait that has a lot of appendages sticking out from the side, and those appendages will actually impede that bait from going through the cover. With this particular one, it doesn't. Again, with the air bubbles going down through the grass on this bait, I think it creates um, uh, a lot more bites than I would get from a bait that's designed differently. I also can pair it with a, an ounce to an ounce and a half weight and get it down through the heaviest grass uh, on the lake. Um, that really played, important, played an important part of, for me uh, last October in qualifying for the uh, FLW Rayovac Championship. Uh, it took place on Lake Sam Rayburn. The second day of the tournament, it was dead flat calm, and I, I, was, I resorted to, I, I was forced, literally, I had been catching a lot of fish on, on frogs, on ribbit type frogs, but without any wind, those fish would not react to anything, and they actually buried up into, into the grass. Using this bait, I was able to punch that grass very easily and very quietly. It, it goes down through that grass and I was able to catch enough fish on that day to qualify for the Rayovac Championship. So I really think if you take a look at the, the Missile Baits products today, especially the D-bombs, and for me, the Baby D-bomb, I think you're going to catch a whole lot more fish this year and you're really going to have a lot of fun with it. I just got done talking about the, the D-bomb and the baby D-bomb, baits that I have a lot of confidence in and baits that I'm really excited about. They're relatively new, but uh, they're, they're just phenomenal. I catch a lot, of, a lot of fish, a lot of big fish on this bait. So now I just want to show you how I use it. 